see how this works. Another wall tap entry. Wall tap. Almost reverse. Oh, I thought we were gonna smack that wall, but. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. We are staring at this Kia Stinger, that uh, turboed motor right there. Definitely a pretty awesome car, like I said when I did the little bit of a look. Looks like we got a bit of a glitch. We're going to implode that. So, we are here today to do a drift build on the Kia Stinger. Like I said, I was going to do. Definitely super excited to try and get this thing sideways. So, I think... What we're going to do is we're going to hop right into it. We're going to start upgrading this car. We're going to kind of keep it a milder upgrade. Um, don't want to go to something too cra too crazy on this build. We're just going to do, you know, something mild. I think we're going to keep it on street tires. We're going to keep it on stocks. Yeah, we'll keep it on stock tires right now. Probably stock width, 225s in the front, and 255s in the rear. It's got some pretty wide, wide ones in the rear. So we're going to leave that. We are going to do a clutch. And we are going to do a transmission. Obviously, I have had bought these before, but I never did the full build. So we are going to do the full build. And I figured I would install everything so you guys can see exactly what I'm installing on this car. So that you guys can make one of these yourself if you'd like. I'm going to drop it on its... Well, <laughs> drop it on its ass. And we're going to put a cage in it because... Uh, well, you know what? We're going to keep it no cage. Because we're going to do basically... A street style drift car we're gonna lighten this thing up this thing is heavy we're gonna probably do it 3,300 pounds a little bit of weight reduction so an intake on an exhaust because you know people who have this car probably do an intake and exhaust and then probably a big front mount and uh, flywheel because you do flywheel with your clutch setup and then probably some injectors some coils we're looking at 443 right now I think we're we rocking on cams right now 529 hmm yeah we'll do that 529 we'll do some cams in there we're gonna leave everything else there 529 on this build so far we will uh, change it if we want to get more power and or build a full blown out tune so now we're gonna get into the tune we're gonna drop the tires to 28 and 27 leave the gear ratio how it is because i'm not sure how it's gonna handle yet and we are going to drop two and a half degrees of camber one probably do one five five and we're gonna max out the caster we will adjust this as we need because this is just a basic tune we're gonna soften this car up not too too much but just enough and then we're gonna drop it down but raise the front just one up <clears throat> and then we gotta soften everything up nice soft suspension setup probably not as soft as some of the other cars I've driven or tuned because those cars are set really soft and uh, they throw sparks <laughs> just by you know initiating into a turn because of how much dive the front end has this is my style of driving, so we're going to set the diff. There we go. All right, so we got that all squared away. So now we are going to go into single-player free play. And I uh, believe we're set in a drift. We are. We're set for drift. We are going to go somewhere where I haven't drifted, actually, on Forza 7 yet. To give this thing a little bit of shakedown, a track that I've actually been on in my personal car, Sebring. Uh, daytime though. And uh, we'll rock this at Sebring. We'll take this thing to the Sebring, the full circuit at Sebring, see if we can't get sideways on that last turn after, you know, watching those old clips from my Camaro and Forza 5 getting sideways at Sebring. I want to see how this Kia Stinger handles the bumps of the last turn at Sebring. So before we get this going, we got to get the camera turned on. We got to get our Energy Innovations 350 millimeter wheel locked in place with our AM Studios quick release. 
and we are all set. We got our handbrake. Everything's all good to go. Wheels locked in place. Uh, and we're just going to send it. First drive, Kia Stinger, mild drift tune. Let's see how this goes and uh, see what we can do with this car. It already feels a lot faster than stock. And uh, we're going to send it in, see what happens. Break in. There we go. Ooh, not bad, running that outside line. I thought I was actually going to lose that. I think these, uh, these tires are not grippy at all. Kick it in. See if we can't hold that in there. There we go. Oh. I was wrong on my hand placement with that one, but uh, we're able to save it. A little clutch kick, though. This car handles pretty well. Trying to stay on the track. There we go. Ooh. Uh, Kia Stinger definitely can drift. Very mild tune. Spitting fire out that exhaust. Sounds pretty sick, too. Um, definitely kind of impressed with how this thing is driving right now. See what it can do on the slower sections. We can break that in early. We, not early enough. But it wasn't too, too horrible. We were able to save it a little bit, but kick it sideways. There we go. And a little bit of a grip issue in the front. We may have to modify the suspension settings a little bit. But uh, let's get this thing sideways and uh, shake it down more. Like I said, I haven't actually drifted here at Sebring before, so I'm uh, here on Forza 7. So this is uh, a bit different for me. I've drifted this track many times in other Forzas, but this is uh, new to me here on Forza 7. So I can uh, use that as a testament to... Uh, my drifting being not 100% right now because I'm not sure these turns or this car probably should have brought a car that I knew how to drive here rather than a fresh build but you know what challenge yourself fresh build fresh track see what we can do I didn't think we were gonna be able to leak that but I was hoping but we had to manji it out a little bit I know this section pretty well one of my favorite sections to drift here on Sebring. There we go. Nice little SE section that I messed up at the end. Get wrecked. Alright, so now comes the fun part. Let's see if we can get this bumpy last turn here in this Kia. We may switch up tracks because I think the tune is pretty good, but uh, I feel like I want to try a different track here. Throw it in nice and hard. Not worried about the points, but although we can get points out here. There we go. We break to keep it on there. Handling the bumps pretty well. 9, 10K. Just like that Forza 5 clip from the previous episode. That was uh, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I think we're going to take this first turn here. We may uh, switch up tracks here and rip this stinger at another track. Oh, I want to enter on that wall, but I entered a little bit too late. No brakes and clutch. Bogged it down. I should have downshifted. So I think we're going to switch up the track, modify the tune very slightly, because this tune's pretty good, actually. I do want to build a full blown out, like Formula D style tune on this car, which I may end up doing. Full drift taxi tune. So let's uh, change it up here. I'm going to switch up tracks. And, uh,. Send this thing for some more skids here on Forza 7. Uh, where am I thinking? Where am I thinking? I'm thinking uh, Rio Mountain Circuit. See if we can handle the bumps at Rio. And uh, we're going to run this full session here probably and see how this works. So uh, the key stinger can't drift. We do need to modify the settings real quick on the car. Because there is some tuning settings I want to change. Tires are okay. Gears are okay. We're going to go a little bit more on the camber. And a little less in the rear. Probably going to tick this down one. And uh, I think tick this down a little bit. And we're going to go with that. And uh, send this thing here in Rio. 
So if you guys are enjoying these drift builds, let me know down in the comment section down below. And we'll be doing another drift build probably tomorrow as well, because, uh, yeah, there's a car that I'm intrigued on building. So that's probably going to happen. So we're going to send this in Rio. I do enjoy doing these drift builds, getting a chance to drive all these different cars, giving you guys an opportunity to see the cars, the tune setups I use, how I tune it, and uh, maybe get you guys into doing these as well. We break in, there we go. Ride the brakes, that's why we drop the brake pressure. There we go. Ooh, definitely bumpy. Wall tap on entry. We're gonna hold that. Yep, we're gonna hold that. Oh, we're not gonna hold that though. Ooh, we didn't spin it, but we weren't gonna hold that. That was uh, that would have been nice, been able to hold all of that. But we're gonna send this uphill. This thing is pretty stable on these stock tires. And then fourth to go uphill. Running this big girl in this tight, narrow Rio circuit. Uh, yup. A lot of fun. That was a really early e break in. Probably way too early, so we're gonna bail on that and then kick it back in to save the car. So, still not too, too bad. Let's see if we can't get this entry in again, maybe without a wall tap, but. Wall tap. As I say, no wall tap. We wall tapped it anyway. Just a tap. On that wall, we got it this time though, I think. Yep, we got it this time. Let's link this, so we can link it all the way up the mountain. There we go, run that wide line. Scraping bumpers, tagging walls. Still link, oh, uh, that was a very crappy way to link that, but we still linked it. Nonetheless, just Kia Stinger gets it. Having a lot of fun actually in this Kia Stinger right now. It's a big car, but it definitely gets down for sure. Ooh, thought we were gonna tag the front of that car. So we just tagged the whole side of the car. Oh, we lose a headlight. You know what? Not my car. Well, it is my car, I guess. Enter in again. Just a tap again. Definitely got that wall tap entry down pat with this car. It was a little bit of a sloppy transition, but we were able to make something out of it. There we go. Run the hill section. A little bit shaky, but nonetheless, not too bad. We lost all our points there, but we're just going for getting sideways. This thing is pretty stable, not gonna lie. This tune is, uh, is pretty on point right now which is I'm very impressed with right now for a mild tune on stock tires there we go Woo. getting it see how this works another wall tap entry wall tap almost reverse oh I thought we were gonna smack that wall but able to whoa the car down and run the front bumper on that wall that uh, that entry kind of kind of scared me there. I thought we were gonna just smack the back end of this car, but we were able to blow the car down a little bit. And I think we just dropped our exhaust tips. I don't even know how that's possible. Forza physics, though. I think that's exactly what it is. The Forza physics. And I think I just tripped out my wheel. My alignment is off on my wheel. It happens from time to time. I've noticed that my wheel will uncalibrate the center of it, and I have to unplug it, replug it in to recenter it. But uh, we're gonna try and finish this off with a uncentered wheel. I think it might have something to do with how much and how fast I'm throwing this wheel a lot. Ow, there's a wall. Or maybe my alignment is just off. But you can see my wheel is not very centered. I think we should do a quick calibration of it and recenter it. So I am not sure exactly what happened with my wheel, but unfortunately it glitched out and uh, I would 
have to reset at my Forza and Xbox and all that stuff. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode. I will make sure I get it fixed for next episode. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And uh, until next time, guys, Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.